Hello and welcome back. This is the video for consonants part 2. In this video I'll be teaching you the last eight remaining sounds of the English language. It's eight consonants, all of them are voiced apart from one. So we have seven voiced consonants and one consonant that is unvoiced. Um, that is H, it's the unvoiced consonant H. And then we have M, N, N, L, R, W, and Y. I hope you enjoy the video. I'll prepare a little exercise for each of the sounds. And uh, okay, let's start. Okay, let's start. First of all, um, we will have a look at m, n, and m. All three do sound quite similar and um, it can be a bit tricky to differentiate m and m. Um, so we'll start with the easier one, m. Uh, you can see already that my lips close. Um, Mm. So um, it looks already different to n or n because my mouth is open here. So m. It's a voiced sound. My voice here, um, my voice box vibrates. M. M. Like mother. May. Month. Or I'm. Mother. May month, I'm. Excellent. And do make sure when you say I'm, for example, I'm Billy, I'm, that you close your lips and that it doesn't come out as like I'm Billy. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm. Excellent. Let's move on. The next one is N. Now, you can't really see it, but actually my tongue touches just um, behind my teeth. N. Very good. Okay, let's practice. N. November. Never. No. Thin. November. Never. No. Thin. Very good. Okay, do go over them a couple of times to really practice. The third one of the group is N. Mm. Now, the symbol does look very similar to N, mm, and often the spelling is N, or usually it is NG, N followed by G. Whenever you see N followed by G in the spellings, you can be sure that the sound is N. Mm. Now, Instead of my the tip of my tongue touching behind my teeth, um, my the tip of my tongue doesn't touch anywhere now. I move my tongue back as if I want to say ng, and then I do not say g. So let's practice ng, ng. Yeah, it does sound a bit funny. I know. Um, it is the typical sound for ing endings in the gerund. Ng. So we'll have a couple of words. Sing. Singing. It comes up twice here. Song. Thing. Cooking. Once more. Sing. Singing. Song. Thing. Cooking. Very good. Do make sure you don't say n here, especially not with sing, because it's a different word, sin and sinning. Um, and singing do have a very different meaning. And if you don't know the words, then do look them up in the dictionary now. Our next sound is l. L, as in life, live, 
long, feel, laughing, life, live, long, feel, laughing, l. Again, my tongue, the tip of my tongue, l, um, just touches um, behind my teeth, but instead of making it a nasal sound like n, where I really sort of breathe out more through my nose, I say l, and it's a voice sound comes from my throat, and I just breathe out through my mouth, l. Very good. Okay, the next one is r. R. Now you probably notice that English people don't say r or r. They don't really roll their r generally. There are maybe some local dialects where that's different, but as a general rule, British English does not roll the r. It is a r. Uh, in fact, very often when we write r, it is silent. Uh, but whenever we pronounce it, it is r. So let's practice with some words. Ride, road, arrive, rich. Ride, road, arrive, rich. Excellent. Um, if you are an Asian speaker, maybe from Thailand or um, from China, it is quite um, a difficulty sometimes to to make sure that you get L and R correct and that you don't mix them up. So L, whenever you see a written L, and R, um, very often when we have the spelling R. Okay. Our next sound is W. W, mostly spelt with a W. Um, I know from own experience that, especially for German speakers, this can be a bit of a struggle and you will be tempted to say the instead of W, or sometimes you say W where really it should be the. So do make sure then the and W do not get muddled up. Um, let's practice with some words. Most of the question words, the WH question words, start with w. Where, when, why, what, watch, away. Do watch my lips and the movement of my lips. Let's try once more. Where, when, why, what, watch, away. Very good. The next sound is y. And um, Spanish speakers sometimes find that difficult. Um, y. If you attempted to say j or j, do try and say e y and then come to a y. Like a long e and then eventually make it a y. Y. Okay, y as in yellow, you, use, young, yellow, you, use, and young. Excellent. Our last sound for today is h, the last unvoiced consonant sound. It's just uh, really softly breathing out of air. H, often followed or usually followed really by a vowel, so h on its own is is almost um, and you know, you're almost unable to hear it really. Um, but let's um, let's put it into some words and you'll be able to hear it. Hotel, house, happy, here, hotel, house, happy, here. Right, let's practice again. If you have difficulties saying h, huh, it can be a bit of a help if you whisper the word. 
hotel, house, happy, here. Just try it out. Maybe whispering helps if you feel more confident saying ha, huh, then say it out loud. Hotel, happy, house, here. Excellent. Well done. You completed all the sounds of the English language. Um, make sure that you practice regularly. Some of the sounds take longer and uh, other, other sounds are much easier to pronounce for you. Um, so do make sure you practice and have a look at the exercises as well.